Learning with Landon doing pretty good too, man. You doing good, son. Okay. You out here doing good, man, riding this. Hey, you think I kinda doing like a little like a little little bit better than you? A little bit better than me? Mm-hmm. No. Nah, you ain't doing better than me. You can't even switch the gear with your toe yet. You say he's gonna do two. I thought you said he's gonna do one, Daddy. What? I thought you said he's gonna do one. Just one circle? Yeah. No, I wanted to do two. Now I wanna do three. having too much fun on that bad boy, man. I see why you don't want to get off of it, because you be having too much fun on it too, don't you? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You be having too much fun on it too, man. You can't have all the fun. Son. Commit, execute, and be obsessed. Yes, Everybody be great out there. Big salute to all of my veterans out here. Big shout out to all of my subscribers, man. Like I tell you guys, can't go one video without showing my appreciation. Man, so this video is for you guys out here who is thinking about starting up a trucking company, starting up a freight brokerage, or starting up a dispatching company. I'm going to tell you guys, man, I wish someone would have told me and gave me some basically guidance, you know, covering dispatching, freight brokering, and trucking, because I do believe that now with the knowledge that I have and that I've acquired over about the past, I started in 2017, 22, so over about the past six years now, you know, if I could go back and give myself some advice, you know, at business advice, basically, man, I would have said, okay, let me come in as a freight broker, you know, or a dispatcher, either or two at the end of the day for me but we're going to talk about freight brokering right now so one side i would have said okay this well basically come in and do both at the end of the day for you guys out here that's freight brokers you guys could be dispatchers too you could have a dispatching company just as long as you're conducting business and within the FMCSA guidelines within your freight brokerage and your dispatching company, you guys could be running both. So I can't really say just start with a dispatching company or just start with a freight brokerage only. You know, I got to give the advice, man, go start and do both. You could do both and you'll see how both of them, you know, they go hand in hand too. So for you guys out here, when we're talking about, man, I wish someone would have basically told me, you know, hey, Manny, you should just start brokering freight before you go out and go buy trucks, too. Because once you go out and start a trucking company, it becomes very expensive. A lot of overhead is involved in trucking. So if I would have got that advice and guidance, I would have came in, started up my freight brokerage. Because I'm telling you guys, man, it's nothing like being a freight broker, too. The only thing that you're doing is just basically playing the middleman. You're just the one that's coordinating between the shipper and the truck drivers. So as long as you guys can hustle and go to these shipping companies and manufacturers out here, you guys can acquire them as your customer start brokering their loads out, start finding truckers out here, and you guys could just start making money by basically completing the transaction, connecting the dots. That's the good thing about being a broker. It don't involve a uh, high startup costs. It don't involve 
uh, in the amazing, I mean, in the extreme amount of overhead, monthly overhead, you know, so for you guys out here, I'm telling you, look into becoming a freight broker too. Because once you guys become freight brokers, now you are the person who's building relationships with shippers. So now think about it if you do want to grow your business. Now you have basically built relationships with shippers. Now you say, okay, I'm going to go buy me a semi truck. I'm going to go buy me a flatbed trailer, start my trucking authority, you know, hire a driver use that truck as basically an, an, another source of income, right? Multiple streams of income. So now you have the relationships as being a freight broker with the shippers, which who are the most important, basically, piece in this whole transaction, too. So now being a freight broker, you might say, I'm gonna go start my trucking company. Now you got the relationships with the shipper, now it's going to be more profitable running that truck because now you have freight that's already coming directly from shippers. You could turn basically those shippers that you have already, you could turn them into direct shippers for your trucking company too. Because now we see in the time right now when fuel prices is up and rates are lower than normal. I mean, a lot of people is just running a trucking company. Now there's a lot of trucking companies out here that's barely surviving because of the expense of fuel rates and the decline of the rates, right? But freight brokers are still making money because we're just making money off transactions. We don't have to worry about going out and getting fuel, unexpected maintenance, commercial insurance. We're just basically, if you're able to hustle it, and when I say hustle it, see, there's a lot of people that they are interested in becoming freight brokers, but when it's time to put in the work, they become demotivated. But this is a business where you can't really just think that it's going to just fall in your lap. You really got to get out there and go get it too. So like I'm telling you guys, the current Manny, would tell 2017 to basically, hey, go ahead and start with a freight brokerage, start making money off transactions, start building that up, start building relationships with shippers out here. Now you're going directly to the shipper. See, everybody's gonna complain about the low rates because the person that's complaining about the low rates is the person that is getting all of their loads off the, off the load board too. Use a load board and have shippers as a trucking company. Use both. Take advantage of both, right? But there's a lot of people that's just running off the load board. But there's people out here that's going directly to shippers and they're still getting amazing rates just because they have built those relationships already, right? And you got to remember, I'm talking to the freight brokers now. How do freight brokers make money? Freight brokers make money off of the transactions, right? So if you know if that load is on the load board, it's definitely going to be cut. So take this for what it is, basically, for you guys out here, man, that's wanting to become freight brokers. And for anyone that is thinking about starting a dispatching company or a trucking company or you just don't really know uh, what you want to start too. At the end of the day, there's a lot of uh, opportunities in the trucking industry. You know, it's all about learning as much as you can, doing as much as you can, and basically never uh, settling, never um, becoming complacent too and satisfied. It's always more to get on the table out here. So if you have any questions, hit me on my text message, 317-953-8943. Go visit my website, www.extraordinarymovement.com. Go get your 30-day free trial with DAT, low board. Go sign up with tabs. 
Trans Am Financial Services if you guys are looking for a factor in service. Everything in the description link below. CEO, commit, execute, and be obsessed. Everybody be great out there.